Hi guys, this is the Mimose MPB2 that I was just farting around on there. Um, beautiful instrument, beautifully constructed. This is going to be a very short review because it's just a precision bass and as you know, a precision bass is simplicity at its best. Um, construction wise, you have here in this particular one a uh, two-piece light ash body and this is very very light um, this is about 3.7 3.8 kilograms uh, very comfortable um, you could play for hours with this strapped around you no problem um, it has a wonderful neck which is reinforced with walnut you see that it's got a walnut bar running up the middle of it um, which also ends in this little nib here in the headstock um, and actually the fretboard is the same piece of wood as the maple neck which makes for good resonance and sustain uh, if you check out the sustain up here on the 14th fret And that's with no vibrato or anything. <laughs> the formant is still... Now it's dying. But it's got pretty damn good sustain. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll keep talking. Um, and the uh, hardware on it as well is fairly light I mean it's high-end Gotto the machine heads have torque adjustment as well um, and the clover style tuning head so it's in line with a traditional sort of precision fender precision base the headstock as well is the traditional shape on the other Mimose model, uh, the uh, MP, is it MPB1 or MP1? It's another of the precision bases. They have uh, Mimose San has his own unique headstock shape, um, which is kind of stylized. It's a bit bigger than this. Uh, and also on the MP1, the truss adjustment is from the headstock, not from the body, not from the bottom of the neck. So it depends what you prefer. Um, Personally, to me, it doesn't really matter. I don't care whether the truss access is in the headstock or at the body. It makes no odds to me. Um, most of the bases that I've had have had access from the bottom of the neck. Um, and that's just fine with me. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's personal preferences and everything. Um, also talking about the, the uh, hardware. Sorry, I digressed a bit there. Um, the bridge is also Gotto and it's another lightweight bridge um, so it keeps the weight of the instrument to a, to a minimum um, so this is a really good instrument for working with because you're not going to get tired with this strapped around you um, it's just very very comfortable indeed um, and this one was is a custom build. Um, it differs slightly from from the build that you will get um, in the shops. Um, we asked a divisor to build one with light ash rather than swamp ash, so this is a bit lighter than the ones you will find in the in the shops. And we also asked them to uh, cover the pickups as well. Usually the poles would be showing on the pickup. Um, but that's just a custom option um, so and I think it looks very handsome it's just very simple and elegant and uh, the neck and fretboard just feel They feel great. 
they feel great. I can pull off anything that I want to pull off on this instrument. The only thing that I'm not quite used to is the, the 20 millimeter string spacing. That's not for me. Um, I've got used to 19 or 18 because um, I'm more of a five string player. <laughs> But having said that though, I mean, I, after a few hours, I could get used to this. I'm mm. It's got a good tight sound, just dial it up and this is the sound you get. Uh, if you roll off the EQ, that's the sound you get. Love it. Yeah, I love it. 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 Um, it's just simple. It feels great. It's fresh. There's something very fresh about the maple wood. Um, something very bright and lively about its tone and the response of the instrument. It's quite it's nice and even. Yeah. So Yeah, I can't fold it. I've got to give this full marks um in terms of build quality and everything.